and welcome back to my channel so what is really going on in maui all kinds of uh, conspiracy theories are being floated about uh, this some of them are a little out there but there is more questionable things going on here best evidence so far shows that uh, down power lines initially started the blaze but it begs to be asked why didn't the power line uh, shut off the electricity if they knew the hurricane force winds were going to be through the area let's watch a few videos that i've collected for you guys from tiktok like real people who experienced this disaster firsthand and edited this might uh, shed some light into this let's watch the videos hi everyone my name is kate i'm from maui specifically lahaina um, my family and i live up lahaina luna we were evacuated during the fire we're currently displaced we are sleeping on the floors of the most amazing family members I just wanted to come on here and say do not believe what is being told on the news 86 casualties is not true the actual count is estimated somewhere between 500 and a thousand people people were not informed except for five minutes before they had to evacuate and this was via a cell phone message an emergency alert our town has evacuation sirens for tsunami installed that are working actively working and they were not sounded children home from school while their parents worked our kapuna who only have access to landlines These are the people that that they're pulling out of houses right now. <laughs> that they're pulling out of rubble. <sighs> Our whole town is gone. Our families are forever changed. And I go to load up its supplies to bring them into Lahaina to help out our family members that are still there. And there's tourists getting off the plane wearing puka shells. Do not come to Maui. Do not come to Maui. Cancel your trip. Now. You're snorkeling in the same waters that parents push their children out on life rafts, on paddle boards, on anything that would float so that they couldn't be burned. Parents that burn in the water a hundred yards out. People screaming from Front Street. You're snorkeling in that water. You're using our resources that we need. Do not come to Maui. Hey everyone, it is Tuesday. It has been one week since the fire started here on Maui. And um, I feel like everyone is being kind of kept in the dark about what's really happening here. Um, I know there's a lot of information, information out on the news and the media, but there is no help here. There is no help. Like FEMA came in, and went to Lahaina and they're doing search and recovery which is desperately needed um, we have 1400 people unaccounted for 1400 people that most likely will not be found because the fire was so bad that it melted metal so the remains of the people that they're finding are ash there was a whole news conference about it yesterday um, they had to bring in a bunch of cadaver dogs because there aren't actual remains that look like people that's that's where we're at that's why nobody's allowed in it's a massive grave it's a crime scene you don't know what you're walking on so fema is busy doing that i get it the national guard is securing our roads 
when I, we drove through yesterday, they're securing all the side roads because people had driven down into Lahaina and were walking on everything. National Guard is busy. Our police officers are stretched so thin trying to help in Lahaina and also maintain the other towns on this island. Fire department still battling hot spots up the mountain and also trying to help in Lahaina. We had firefighters already come from Honolulu. Our government has not deployed any military assistance and they are a 30 minute flight away. There is no one here. Everything that has been organized has been organized by local residents and the community. People volunteering their boats and bringing supplies over to a boat ramp on that side, setting up a supply station on that side, food trucks, closing their food truck and donating their generators so that people on that side could have power. Um, people taking off of work to volunteer. Nurses volunteering over there on their days off. The community has done everything here. The people on the west side were waiting for help. It's been a week no help has arrived. That's what's happening on Maui, okay? The people in Lahaina had no warning about the fire and it burned everything in a matter of two hours. We have a tsunami warning system on this island. They did not activate it. They sent out the warning system through the phones and there was no service and no power. Nobody got the warnings. They closed school on Tuesday for children because the winds were too high and it was knocking down the poles. Children were home on Tuesday, a lot of them probably without their parents who were at work. And those children didn't know what to do. That's what happened here, okay? Elderly centers not evacuated people being in the water waiting to be rescued from 3 p.m. until 2 in the morning by the Coast Guard. The people on the west side are exhausted, okay? People have been volunteering around the clock to help get people supplies and organize things over there, and they need help. I don't know what the government's plan is, but right now, they're not doing anything. It's very frustrating for everyone here. I think that the news makes it sound like help is here and things are getting better. We are still in search of recovery and we will be in search of recovery for a while. Um, it, everyone's, everyone's tired, everyone's frustrated. And then on top of that, on this side of the island, we still have the tourism industry running. So I know I've shared the posts there are people running supplies to the other side by boat and then the next day expected to take people out snorkeling. One side of the island looks like a third world country and people are over here having five star dinners. That's what's happening on Maui right now. Um, everyone is really pushing for help. The military should be here. More aid should be here. Everyone has started their own Venmos and GoFundMes because they realized that help wasn't coming. So as a community, we're strong, but we're tired. And I just think that that should be known. Um, people are comparing this to the Paradise Fire that happened in California in 2018. I want to make it very clear, 85 people perished in that fire. That is devastating. There will be hundreds of people, maybe even over a thousand, that were victim to this fire. This will be probably the deadliest fire on record since 1871. It is 2023. Like, this should not have happened. So, that's where we're at. Um, everyone here is very thankful for everyone's help. So, if you are donating, if you are sending goods, if you are reaching out, thank you, um, continue doing it. It's gonna take a really long time for us to get through this. So we appreciate your support, we appreciate your donations and keep sharing because the world needs to see what's happening here and the truth is not being shown. I've been 
in the industry of people losing their homes uh, due to fire, flood, moats, or emergency services. But I need you guys to hear me out. You don't see what's going on. I feel something is bigger. I've been, I'm, I've been on Maui the last nine years, and I know the geographical location and how everything works. There was no fucking way that a hurricane missed Big Island, went to Maui, and didn't flood them, didn't give them, you know, crazy you know, other things, but it caused fires. It caused fires, and not only on Maui, but it caused fires in the most precious parts of real estate in Maui. Lahaina Front Street is worth billions. The Hawaiians that have been holding out and the Kanaka have been holding out for years not wanting to sell their property in Lahaina due to these big million dollar companies. It is not a coincidence. I don't believe how in the most precious parts of Maui, Kula, Lahaina, and Kihei that the locals that are standing strong and do not want to give up Oprah Winfrey's fucking view up in Kula that the Hawaiians are holding out on, that the fire was going to, the, Ho the Hawaiians and the Kanaka that was holding right there on Front Street. Hey, hello everybody. Uh, just coming on here to give a quick update on some of the ridiculous things that are going on <laughs> for us here in Lahaina. Um, I'm okay, I live, I have my home in Honokoha Valley, for those of you who don't know. Um, it is my grandmother's house that was completely engulfed and taken by the, by the fire. Um, I got to my grandmother's house about 30 minutes before it was c completely engulfed and it's, it's gone, it's burnt to the ground. But the problem right now is not, I mean obviously it's all still a problem, but people here are suffering. There's not enough supplies, there's not enough food, there's not enough water, there's not enough gas, not enough propane, there's nothing here. There are people that are trying to bring all of these things in right now, currently as we speak. About two minutes ago, somebody just told me that they got turned away, regardless if they were a resident of Lahaina, regardless if they are a resident of Honokoha Valley, which I am from. And even people that live in Kahakuloa, which is closest to a lot of these roadblocks, are having a hard time even getting to their own homes. Now, the question is, and, and this is some, something similar that's been happening at Honolulu Bay this, this, this recent time, when we had the means to save and protect and prevent a catastrophe from happening, the public did, but our state and our federal government, like the Coast Guard, they denied us access to go and help. Now they're doing the same thing again at these roadblocks, denying people access to bring in supplies, just supplies for people to live. Uh, and I get it that they don't wanna let all these people in because they're already spread thin and it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It is, it is a desert, decimated area <laughs> I I can't even tell you what the things that I've seen and people want to leave there are people here that want to leave but they don't have gas to put in their car to leave people are trying to bring gas in so that these people can just jump in their car and leave Lahaina take away the strain from the shelters take away the strain from the food and water that they're they're taking from when they have a place that they can go to yet our state is still denying people access and it's not and it's not they're not doing it friendly i was on the phone just recently with tiari, tiari lawrence and the cop on the other side of the phone was talking to her doc, talking down to her like right, people are in distress people need these products people need these supplies yet they're turning people away i'm afraid i have so many people here that are that i'm housing at my own place that I don't have enough food for, I don't have enough water for, yet I'm afraid that if I leave to go and get the things that I do need, they won't let me back in, right? My grandma, she needs her medicine. I have to go to Kahului to go get that myself. Nobody's gonna bring that here. Things are very specific to some people and they need to get out and they need to get back in, yet the state is failing us again, okay? So, 
people I, I don't even know I don't I, I'm lost for words I don't even know what to do how to go about this problem but if anybody has any recommendations please do put it put it in the comments and give me a call if you have any ways to get certain things into Lahaina with whatever whatever avenue with with the police officers if you can get an escort in or whatever I don't I don't even know but there are things here that are specific to people and more people are gonna die more than more than her has already been more lives than I can even I can even count I, I've seen and people people are gonna die when they don't need to and it's as if the state wants to make sure that they have control but it's all of these laws and these loops and these this red tape that we got to jump through just to save lives and to prevent more catastrophe from happening yeah all of that for the state to continue to control when it is the law of necessity it is necessary for people to be coming in yeah the tourists show your id you know you kind of go in there but if people are trying to come in to just pick up family members and take them out how are you going to turn people away you know so please be vigilant Lahaina community we got to stick together i am very overwhelmed with things that are going on and i'm doing my best to point people in directions that they can help and i will be continuing to document things that are going on here on this side of the island it is as if they cut us off from the rest of the world and they're not letting us come get out you know people don't even have cell phone service to contact their families to let them know they're okay the only way you can do that is to go to certain places which is outside of the perimeter that the, the cops have set and they can't even do that to let their families know that they're okay because they can't come back in you know people have nothing people have nothing people are suffering people need medication people need food gas water and yeah it's all slowly coming here but it could have been here yesterday it could have been here earlier this morning you know so hello guys sorry for the rant but i need to get the word out there to let people know exactly what's going on because it's a lot worse than the media has made it out to be a lot worse okay hello Okay, so those were the videos, you guys. Just in case you're not aware, there's already a class action lawsuit against uh, Hawaii Electric for keeping the power on during these high winds. And another question is that uh, why is the witness uh, testimony about uh, water mains being shut down in the area? And you can't fight uh, water without fire. You know that. We all know that. Fire and water. You can only fight uh, fire with water. Why do? Uh, why is there also another witness uh, saying that uh, police blockades uh, were preventing people from leaving Front Street? I'm going to do a video about this. So make sure you subscribe and turn on your notification uh, bell. In Lahina, as the wildfires came in, this is horrible. Criminal even. If this is true, however. Another thing uh, you should know is that... Uh, Biden said that he's going to be giving uh, Maui wildfire victims uh, seven hundred dollars, as in seven hundred, as in uh, seven hundred hundreds dollars each. Uh, meanwhile, his an administration announced another two million U.S. dollars for Ukraine. That's a story for another day. Oh boy. You guys, let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. Subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed already. And I will definitely see you in my next video. Peace.